Hello Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. Let's take a look and see what's manifesting for you all. Any messages or advice, any surprises, who or what is showing up around you. As always, take what's resonating and leave out the rest. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually goldy on all platforms. If you are interested in a personal reading done by me, all of that info will be left in the description box below for you all with the link to my website, spirituallyglow.com, for you to view the different options for readings. As always, take what resonates, leave out the rest. All right, so... So, Gemini, the first cards that came out, we have perseverance, change, success, abundance, happiness. I know you're tired. I know you're tired. I can feel it. Um, but you can't give up. You have too much within you that needs to be seen you have so many gifts within you that the world needs to see and change is coming your success is coming your abundance your happiness it's like you are so close okay perseverance perseverance so some of you may have been like super just like stressed out and, and frustrated you've been trying and trying and just feel like maybe you're you're wondering if things will ever change. The answer is yes. Things are going to change. I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. You are attracting a large amount of wealth into your life. Okay. And you are really like establishing roots towards creating... A legacy for yourself right now success and abundance happiness and looking back you're going to thank yourself for persevering for not giving up here okay so nine of swords some of you have been having a hard time uh sleeping you may have been having some insomnia, headaches, just like stress. What is this anxiety and stress over? Page of Wands and Strength. Okay. So I see you kind of stressed out with... the with exploring something new or change okay a fear of of change things changing and what that would look like um with this strength here you have been in a way strengthening your own mind whether you realize it or you don't and you have really been trying to also have some sort of control over a situation um and control over your mind control over an outcome uh, i'm seeing some sort of message coming through here that kind of feels like it's inevitable so there is ch change is inevitable here someone's been trying to control the inevitable and it's been stressing you out even more. Okay. So it feels like you have been giving a lot of your energy away or resources away to the point that you're that you feel like you just are draining yourself in the end where where things are just not being really reciprocated here. 
And you pulling back your energy or you taking time to like really just slow down is what is leading you towards a better state of mind and, and success in the end here. It feels like things are slowing down or things are going to be moving at a slower pace for you, but in a way that's manageable. In a way that is letting you just like focus in on your peace again. Getting real, getting real serious about, I'm hearing auditing. I don't know, someone could be into auditing or you may be doing like an audit of your life right now. And seeing where you, where things are and really just focusing in on like that that healing five of cups okay so there may be a situation that you've just been really kind of like upset about you felt kind of like you've lost something and it's affected your happiness in a way and you're being called to just like slow down and really nurture yourself nurture your emotions your peace your happiness because this is this is also part this is also your key this is also a key when it comes to your your wealth and your abundance here why the ten of pentacles empress wheel of fortune wow wow oh my gosh there is an opportunity coming in for you and an opportunity that is really going to like shift your whole reality here for you towards something abundant. I'm seeing fortune. Chances are because you're sticking things through. You're sticking you're sticking things through and, and you're staying consistent. Even if it means slowing down, you know, even if it means you're not going uh, as fast, you're just, it's about the consistency. King of Swords, King of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, okay. The Emperor, you're really in this, like, you're really stepping into a, an energy of... energizing yourself motivating yourself in a way that feels like it is sustainable changing things to more sustainable ways and sticking to this vision of yours king of wands has a big vision and i see you kind of taking bold steps forward I'm seeing with this Eight of Pentacles, somebody also kind of coming into work with you to help build and establish something here with you. With this Ten of Pentacles, it's like this is this is you building not, not a legacy kind of like on your own. This is with someone else. So someone is coming in to help build a legacy and establish these roots with you. Help kind of like settle something down. Two of Wands. So someone's making plans for big changes here wanting to grow and and evolve with you what are these plans the magician to manifest <laughs> with this empress the first thing i saw was this baby <laughs> so if you're dealing with someone um there's someone who wants to manifest a like a child with you a baby with you if you're at that age where like you can't have that then that doesn't apply to you but they want something serious. They want to they want to manifest real growth here with you, real abundance, real love, nurturing energy, um, and manifest deeper levels of commitment. Wanting to manifest actually changes instead of just having these plans, wanting to actually make these plans a reality with you. Build this legacy with you. Someone wants to build with you. If you have someone in mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see. Three of Wands. Okay. Someone's kind of waiting, preparing. Seeing three, three, three. Interesting. They, this person wants to be lovers with you. They want a relationship here. They want to progress things towards a relationship.
I, I do see that they f they're waiting on you or they're waiting for a message or action from you here. Th this person is feeling hurt over something, over maybe some of you thinking like, this may not work out. Seven of Pentacles reversed how they're looking at you. So they may just feel like you're maybe not wanting to invest a lot of time or you're just wanting space right now and they miss you. What are they hurting over? Okay, yeah. This person's feeling kind of rejected by you or ignored in some way. Like you've ignored them or you've invested your time and your energy to something else. Meanwhile, this person really wants to get closer to you or they want to manifest a change where you two are closer. You build a stronger relationship. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to win you over here, but I kind of get in a way. <laughs> the way that they're trying to win you over is by kind of like... Um, They're trying to get your attention here by showing you their pain. Guilt? Are they trying to guilt you? Guilt you into like being <laughs> with them? Um, that kind of, that's kind of what it looks like. Huh. And the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Nine of Cups. Yeah, okay interesting yeah you're happy with like the way that things are right now you're happy with the way that things are right now like you're content and this person wants something more serious with you like you may be happy with just like dating this person or just loosely working with this person um but they want like an actual relationship here with you. They want to see this grow and they want to see this change into something more. But you're pretty happy on your own. You're, you're pretty happy focusing on your your work and your success at this point. And, and they're feeling like rejected. Like what? Like you don't want what they want. Okay. If abundance is what you're going for, abundance is what you'll get. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. You're staying consistent. You're continuing your abundance. Manifesting whatever it is that you desire. I'm seeing you really just taking actions. And I see you actually slowly opening up your heart. Like you're slowly start opening up your heart to this person and feeling a desire to um, explore the potential of this. Hmm. Yeah, it's like you slowly, you, you may be one, you may be slowly be one of those people that need time to like open up their heart or need time to trust someone. And they're the, they're, they're going to wait for you. Success and abundance, though. Whatever you're doing right now, even if it's frustrating, it is leading you to success. Sometimes, sometimes you, you got to put in the hard work. And even if it means, like, slowing down. Whatever. What is there anything else that Gemini needs to know? Imagination and freedom. Okay, I'm really getting like visualize. some of you are visualizing a life of freedom or you're manifesting a life of freedom right now, like financial freedom, financial freedom. Yeah, you really are, you really are Gemini and Sometimes you need that pressure 
that nine of swords energy to to tr to create a transformation in your life sometimes we need that stress and and that that could be part of your that could be part of this this tr this like whole reality sh change in, that's happening right now for you but you can't slow down okay i'm seeing the numbers nine two ten five those numbers could be synchronicities, special days coming up. All right, I'm seeing the letters P, C, A, N. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing, Gemini. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and your patience. And I hope you have a blessed rest of your day. Bye.